Hey folks, I'm Angrel. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing a motor upgrade on my Quadmilla Siren F3, and I'm going with these guys here. This is the T Motor 1604. It says it's good for a 3 inch, 3.5, and, and 4 inch, so we're going to put it on a 3 inch. And I went with the 3800 KV because I want to use this on 4S. All of my smaller quads right now are running this motor here. This is the Zing 2 1404 4600 KV motor. I've got this on my 2.5 inch, 3.5 inch, and this 3 inch over here. And not once did I think, hey, I need more motor. But a lot of you guys out there are saying to go with 1604, so I've got Motor Envy, and now I want to try 1604 as well. These motors were purchased by myself with my own money, so if you do find this video useful, do appreciate you using my links in the video description. Inside this tiny box, we have a whole bunch of bags. The first bag is a motor itself, and this does seem quite a bit larger than my 1404. Next bag looks like a bunch of accessories, so I see there are three different types of screws, and we've got an extra C-clip there, so that's very nice. We've got a QC Pass label, this is good. My iFlight Zing 2 never came with one of these. And then finally, we have some stickers. Here's the motor itself. It has a 1.5 millimeter shaft over there, and it's got a 9x9 pattern, no different than the Zing 1404. Do bear in mind, it's a 14-pole motor, which means it's got 14 magnets. That's two more magnets than the Zing 1404. And what that means is when I spin this, it spins a lot more smoothly and it cogs less. So let's see what that does for performance. Now let's weigh this. So this is 12 grams. And here's a Zing motor. 10 grams. For an extra two grams, this thing better take me out for dinner and a movie because that's a lot of grams. And the new 1604 motors are installed. I did go through a complete retune using PID Toolbox just in case that these motors do make a difference on the PID tuning. Now this quad ready to go used to weigh 226. Now it weighs 232. So we have added in six grams of additional weight. For the first test, I am flying the quad no different than how I would be normally flying. All the footage you are seeing is without any stabilization, so the DJI EIS is off and I did not use any software stabilization. It felt like these 1604 motors flew smoother than my 1404 motors and that the quad felt like it had less prop wash. It could just be a placebo effect or maybe the 20% larger stator volume of these motors and the two extra motor poles are making for a more responsive and smoother motor. I'll let you be the judge of this based on the flight footage you are seeing. Again, this flight footage is unstabilized, so if there were any jitters or any kind of prop watch, it would show on what you're seeing right now. At full throttle punch out, the quad did pull a massive 54 amps. That's about 4 amps more than I've ever seen pulled from the 1404 motors. And remember, I've been flying these 1404 motors for years. An extra 4 amps isn't too bad considering that these are technically 20% larger motors when you do the actual math. I also like that they had that extra bit of power in reserve to help you get out of those tricky situations. Ultimately, I got 3 minutes and 45 seconds of flight time on a 4S 650 milliamp battery. I'd say we've given up about 15 to 30 seconds of flight time because of the larger, heavier motors. For the second test, I flew around as smoothly and slowly as possible. If grandma could fly, this is how she'd be flying. Nursing the quad around the park, I managed to get a bit over 7 minutes of flight time. I did a very similar test a few months ago during the nice warm summer months. At that time, I managed to get about eight minutes of flight. So we've definitely given up a little bit of flight time here. Based on the flight testing, these motors did feel more smooth and more responsive, but with motor testing, you never know, that could be the placebo effect. Do bear in mind that these motors are heavier and more powerful, so you do give up, let's say, between 10 to 15% of your flight time, but you are getting a roughly 30% larger motor, so that seems like a decent trade-off. On full throttle punch-out, the 1604 motors only pulled 8% more maximum amp draw, so about 4 amps, so there's no need to upgrade anything else in your power system. Ultimately, these motors are great options if you don't mind carrying a bit more weight. So for me, six grams, and also you don't mind a little bit less flight time. So hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.